Hey guys, so I'm going to record a video just to show how these uh, custom actions work. I'm going to start here in the new tab called custom actions and I'm going to recreate this call that we have here which the AI can use to get uh, available real estate properties in the call. In order to do that I'm going to click create then here I can choose the type of custom action that I want to make so it could be one from scratch and it could also be one related to THL. In the future we'll have many more integrations so we will be able to see them all here but for now we have these two options and I'm going to start with, with this one. So here we can define all the different things that uh, we need to have for the custom action. So the first one is the name and we can choose a name that should be descriptive. Uh, so it should be something like get real estate properties because this is going to help the AI know uh, when to call this function in the conversation. The more that we can uh, specify here, the better. For now, I'm going to keep it simple. The AI is intelligent enough to be able to pull the function. Here we can choose what the AI should say while calling the function. Um, this should be short because sometimes otherwise there's going to be an interruption. The agent might get the results very quickly and it's going to sound weird. So it should be like, uh, wait a second while I get the results. Then here we'll choose the URL that we want to call and uh, I'm going to use a test uh, URL but you could uh, choose here the URL that you want. Here is mine. I'm going to click test action to check if this works and this says mm, uh, the payload is invalid so let's check why this is. Basically it's already telling us that we need to check the body variables, types and values and th this uh, leads me to the next part of the request. We have uh, the properties, uh, these are the parameters that the uh, LLM will send to the API and therefore needs to get from the user. In this case for my particular call we need uh, a couple of them. So the first one is going to be the city and the second one is going to be the price. And I'm going to fill here the descriptions. Again, this should be as descriptive as possible um, because actually this is very important. It's uh, what it's going to tell the agent, okay, look for this information uh, during the call. Then we can choose a type here. Uh, this is going to be a string and this is going to be type money. Um, this would be obviously like a float, uh, but we are using these custom types just to help the AI understand the format in which uh, we want this information. And the example here is going to be something like Berlin. And here I'm just going to type the example in text because of course the user is going to say $2 million or $1 million. Uh, the user is never going to say 50000 and the AI might, might uh, just be a little bit uh, confused if we don't specify the proper uh, type here. Then for the authentication, I'm actually going to use these values. These are just test uh, values. In reality, you would need to obviously input your uh, token and the, the different uh, location uh, where this token should be, etc., etc. For GHL, we actually pre-populate this data for you if you have GHL integrated in the app. Let me check if this is working. Yeah, this is working. So this is already okay. Right now we're seeing the response like this. There is a very high chance that when you're watching this video, whoever is watching it, uh, we can already see it in proper JSON, just like here. This is actually the, the JSON that we're sending um, in order to get the, the proper response, right? So it's not really the response. The response is here. And this is where it says that the status is successful. And therefore, we know that this API call is going to work uh, mid-call when the agent uh, tries to execute it. So let's actually test uh, this action. It's called get real estate properties. Actually, in order for us not to get confused, I'm going to remove the other one. We're going to get this one, which is the new one. Now, for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to improve a little bit uh, the description. So let's say to get available real estate properties. And same thing here. I'm just going to choose a name that is slightly more descriptive. And now it's time to test the action. So I'm going to be showing this. This is uh, the second part of the video. I haven't recorded it in the, at the same time. Um, but essentially, we have the same action here, the one that we just saw and I'm, we're going to be assigning it to an assistant. So here I'm going to pick Jessica. Jessica is a real estate agent. Here in the prompt, we can see all the different uh, information that is just based on the template. And uh, we're going to choose here that we want to set up a custom action. We're going to select this one, which is the one that we just created. And now we have it here. We could view the response. So the response is basically what we what we had in the previous screen, but this time it's formatted in a, in a way that it makes it easier for you to see which are the parameters that uh, the API is going to give back. So you could use these parameters inside the prompt and specify that they should be expressed in a certain way or used uh, in logic, 
in uh, different parts of the prompt so you could say if the price is bigger than this then uh, do that and the agent is going to have an easier time than if it has to figure it out but still the agent should be intelligent enough to be able to read this uh, json and uh, structure the responses based on that so here we're actually just going to add uh, a little bit of text to a prompt specifying how the different uh, properties like the uh, type of property or the price should be um, presented and we just give a, an example of how they could be uh, presented for a Berlin apartment. Um, right now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna test it I'm gonna add here my number and the agent is going to call okay and there we are uh, my phone is ringing and I'm going to take the call I'm gonna put it in a speaker hello I am calling from Majestic Estates how can I help you hey uh, I wanted to maybe buy a property. That's great to hear. What city are you looking to buy a property in? And do you have a specific budget in mind? So I'm looking to buy a property in New York. And maybe around, I don't know, $1 million? $1 million, got it. Okay, so let's New see. New York. Let's see if it finds them. There was a little cut there. But I think it's looking for the properties. We'll see. Yes, I found a couple of options for you. There's a spacious three. Bedroom condo in Manhattan. Priced at three million five hundred thousand dollars, it offers modern amenities and stunning city views. Another option is a charming four bedroom brownstone in Brooklyn, going for two million two hundred thousand dollars, featuring original details and a private garden. Would you like more details on one of these properties? Actually, I would like if you could tell me something about properties in Berlin. Do you have uh, some of those? I can definitely help with properties in Berlin, but I don't handle envelopes. Let's focus on the real estate part. What's your budget for a property in Berlin? My budget is uh, less than 1 million euros. A couple of interesting options in Berlin within your budget. There's a modern two-bedroom apartment in Mitte, priced at 950,000 euros. It features high-end finishes and a balcony right in the heart of the city. Would you like to explore this option further or need information on other types of properties? Is there another one, maybe even if it's more expensive? Yes, there's also a classic villa in the Grunewald area. It's priced at four million five hundred thousand euros. This elegant property. Okay, has thank you, thank you, th thank you very much. I'll I'll think about it. Okay, yeah. So we can see that uh, it worked, and basically first it, if it pulled the properties from New York, and afterwards it pulled them from Berlin. We can also he see here the call completed results, and we click uh, in actions. We can see the different uh, actions that were performed. And the, there were two instances of the same action, right? So in in one of the cases we we got the results um, in new york this one and then uh, afterwards there was also a call that gives us the result in berlin so we can see that uh, this function was called uh, two times and also something very interesting is that when i when i told the um, AI that my budget was a maximum 1 million euros, it only gave me one of the two options. Uh, so it was able to filter and just uh, select one of the two. So yeah, that's it. That's a demo. And uh, just come here, create uh, new actions and test them in your calls. You can see this one, for example, I created to tell a joke. And basically, if there is an API, uh, you can create a custom action to, to connect to it.